Hey, best friend. Girl, what you doing? Hey, the best squad. It's your girl, Ebony, the best. So, guys, I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about a clip that I saw with Kiki and Melody, you know, having that sit down about what took place on the, um, with the blogger. Um, my feelings has always been, you know, I support Kiki, you know, and I support Melody, um, my thing, my only problem with Kiki was I wish she didn't befriend Anthony because I told her, you know, I did. I was in her DM and Kiki will tell you I'm always in her DM, but she always used to say, you know, I think he's a cool guy, blah, 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 blah. I've seen it from afar and, and everybody knows that I've seen this guy from afar and try to warn people, but everybody came up against me. Now... The conversation with Kiki and Melody and Melody is letting her know, you know, you should have at least reached out to me and talked to me about this instead of, you know, going on social media, talking to a blogger. And I think that this blogger set Kiki up for a downfall. I believe that when um, Don came out and put him in his place and let him know what time it is. Um, because I could even show y'all text messages where me and him was communicating and he was telling me how things are going for him and all these things, great things that's going to be happening for him. I even said to him, you know, remember the little people down here? So I am looking at it as, you know what? He knew that um, Dawn was done with him. Melody was done with him. And what? What? who else does he have? Kiki mama, right? He has Miss Constant and he has Kiki. So I'm going to play the clip and then I'm come back with more commentary. I'll be honest. I think my biggest thing for me that's going to stick with me is that out of all of these months that passed by, mm -hmm. that was six months ago. But not one time did you say, girl, shoot, I done got myself in a pickle. Let's sit down and talk. Because I care about our friendship enough where I don't want you to hear this from nobody else. And I'm not going to let nobody hold nothing over my head. Let's talk. I shouldn't have read it on the internet. That apology coming after that, it does not move me. I find it difficult sometimes to be just upfront when it involves confrontation. With Girl, you just threw a whole drink of water no, on your cousin. That's a different, uh, that's a different relationship. That's confrontation, no, right? That's, that's a different a, relationship. You're talking about confrontation. It's a difference when <laughs> there's someone who has been nothing but good to you. She's not innocent by far, neither am I. However, I ain't been as shady as her ass. And that's a fact. So listening to this clip, I hope that you know, Kiki didn't just go into a conversation about Letitia and how shady um, she has been. I hope that in this moment, because I'm still not watching y'all, that she and Melody had a great sit down about their friendship and about what took place. Right. The fact that this blogger was um, recording everybody and he has recording. That's that's you don't do that to people. You don't record people and then release information because you you want to feel you have something over somebody's head my problem with kiki and i did tell her i said the only thing is for for if i'm gonna have my girls back i'm gonna have my girls back so when i listen to kiki on the recording when it, it's to me it sound coerced right like he was saying stuff just for kiki to answer but I would have still hoped that she would have caught on to say, why is he talking about Mel? Why is he talking down to Mel like this? You know, why, why, why? For me, yes, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm going to ask why. And I'm going to question stuff. And I'm going to peep game. Because if I see you trying to talk, have me talk about my girl with you, then it's a problem because you and my girl is not friend. So my loyalty would have lied with my friend and not you, right? But she did, she said she did consider him a friend, right? But Mel, you've no longer because you, from what I understand, you and her has the same friend. And I know, I don't I think it's Brittany. I think they both are friends with her. Again, I think what she did, what her mom did was wrong because her mom, and I tell you this, guys, when he came on the, the thing crying and 
I, I went into Mel's DM and I'm like, what did you do? Why are we going to be turning against you? Right? Because he came on crying and then he, you know, Miss Constant called him and he ended the call. Yeah, I believe Kiki. She was in Houston. She felt attack. Um, you know, even I think Stormy was the only one that picked up for her there. Um, and I don't know. Was Mel? I don't know. I wasn't there. But the fact of the matter is she has a, uh, Kiki picked up the phone to call her mom, you know, naturally to say, Hey, you know, I don't feel good. I feel blah, blah, blah. Her mom now who is friends with AL call AL to tell him that's why he had so much. You all heard him say anything else about having any tea. Y'all hear him say anything about any episodes that's been coming out or no, because we found who the persons were that was telling him stuff and that was that you we just got to you can't trust bloggers and i always tell them you can't trust bloggers we're here to get tea and to spill it to our subscribers right good tea honest tea i really do hope melody and kiki you know she will get forgiveness from melody for what she did from um from the producers like I really hope that she make amends with them it's just too sad that she for me I believe she was used by AL AL couldn't get to to Melody right so what did he do he used Kiki and her mom to try to still get information try to stay relevant um in watching something that he said he doesn't care nothing about right I don't care that's his channel he can do whatever he wants but I really do hope, you know, that they will make up and, you know, forgive each other. They may not be friends like they used to when they were in college and all of that good stuff. But, you know, make amends. And I know Melody. Melody will probably, you know, forgive her. But then she'll keep her at arm's length. Arm's length. But I'm going to play a little bit of the clip of, um, you know, what took place. Shout out to Empress Radio because I got some of these clips from her. Anyway, guys, enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Um, we that's when y'all hear the conversation take place, you know. Um, in that moment, I'm really frustrated, and so I don't say a whole lot because I'm thinking and trying to figure out. I'm I'm pissed, number one, because there was no this was nobody's place to go and say anything about anything. That's a moment that was taken from me. I was going to have that conversation with my friend when I got ready. The only thing I did was vent it to my mom about what happened. And again, unfortunately, my mom talked to somebody she felt like she could trust. Because just like he did Melody, you know, he would always hit us up and say, you know, hey, um, you know, um, if, if Kiki need this or she need that. I, that's, all, that's what it was. You know, he always act like he was looking out he always hit me up and said hey how you doing you know everything okay you know I wouldn't go so far as to say that we were like uh friends like that and then he put out about um the hundred dollars now I did ask him for a hundred dollars but this is the thing when we did that last interview we did I told Anthony I said Anthony a lot of people want this interview but since you my boy I'm gonna look out I'm gonna give you the interview I'm charging 500 but I'll charge you 350 Cool. He never said nothing else about the money after the interview. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe he forgot. And so I even asked my husband. Oh, guys, just a little bit more of that. You know what happened when she had, um, he was talking about how she was begging him for money. It was because, you know, she asked him to pay for the interview. It was $500. He didn't seem like he was going to pay it. So she kind of like tricked him to get the money or get something out of him for the interview. And that's why she said that, you know, he owed her money. And now I'm just going to play a little clip of Melody when she was talking about the whole thing and how Anthony came on the live crying. Ask the question, would y'all hold Mel accountable if she did something? Let me just see. If, if Mel did something, would y'all hold her accountable? Would y'all let her know what's up? I 
wouldn't have had a problem with that. It was the <laughs> if if Mel did something. <laughs> It was that. Would y'all hold her accountable? <laughs> it was that. It was the dramatic about AL. to make my people start DMing me, asking me, girl, what you done did? Because that's what happened. So now you playing with my fan base at this point. If Mel, hold on, y'all. I got to take this call. Hello, I got to end the live. Boy, shut up. Shut up. Meditate daily, baby enlighten, baby make racks, baby spend cash, baby go get it and she don't gotta ask. Baby gon' run it up like an athlete, plays gold up track meet. At the stadium show going super hard, cause baby a superstar. Just bought a quick out of lake, 